work. Today I'm going to show you how I made this walnut and maple watch display stand. I started out by planting down some walnut till it was about half an inch thick. It was rough to begin with so it didn't take that long. Then I cut it into about an 8 inch piece and a 3 and a quarter inch piece, both 3 inches wide. I'm going to attach the middle section with a dado, so I marked the midpoint made a rough estimate of where I want to cut the dado. Then I headed over to my table saw. I set the blade height to half the thickness of the wood, which was about a quarter of an inch. Then I lined up my cut and used my crappy miter gauge, which was recently upgraded after filming this video, to notch out the dado. After cutting, I smoothed out the blade marks with 220 grit sandpaper and set up to drill a 1.5 inch hole using a Forstner bit. Then for this piece, I cut a steep angle on either side and I used ways that I'd rather not promote so I won't show them and then I used a disc sander to make the corners round. The watches are going to sit on a maple dowel which is cut to the same length of the base. Here I'm just giving it a test fit and getting ready to cut some flat spots in the dowel. To flatten the dowels, I'm gonna need a sort of tenon jig for my table saw. I'm also gonna need a piece to support the dowel so it doesn't move. For this, I'm using a two by two and the largest V-groove router bit I have to route a groove down the length of the two by two. This will give the dowel a place to sit so I can clamp it to the tenon jig. I took everything back over to the table saw and clamped it together. The jig is basically a vertical board attached to three boards that fit over my table saw fence. After setting it up, I raised the blade to its highest point and then made two passes to remove about a quarter of an inch section. I flipped it over and cut out the other side, then used the chisel to clean everything up. The flat spots are cut so they go right up to the hole in the support section. I glued everything together and used a rubber mallet to persuade it to fit. Since the wood is walnut, I'm not using wood glue. I'm using a product called Wellbond since it dries clear. After I finally got the middle section in, I added some more Wellbond to the gaps and sanded some sawdust into them to fill everything in. Attaching the dowel without getting glue everywhere was a challenge. I did a terrible job on the first one, but I quickly figured out how to tape and how to slide the dowel in the next one without getting glue on any, any surfaces I didn't want to. Sanding is boring, but I went with 220 grit and then applied some tried and true boiled linseed oil for a finish. And there it is, a place to display your watches. There are four, two, and one watch versions available in the link below if you'd like to buy one. You'll also notice that I angled the dowel after making the first one. 
It definitely adds to the look. Anyway, that's all I've got for this one. If you're still watching at this point, go ahead and write your favorite dad joke down in the comments.